the soul or soul <laughs> a soul <laughs> a soul in me right now not a hole um in many religions and philosophical traditions there's a there is a belief that the soul is the immaterial aspect or essence of a human being so it's Im immaterial uh meaning um you know it, uh, it, it encompasses uh, it, it, uh, it's not a, a material thing like uh, you know it's it's right there located here although there are some uh, scientists that uh, they think they found maybe uh, have it in the brain but and to have a soul for me is a is a mind is a is a thought process it's a certain thought process you know where am I going with this uh, I, I want this to be a series like I really want to do this type of video about this, do some reading about it, and and talk about it. But then also uh, uh, tell it from my perspective, you know, because uh, I'm really hung up on this. Like a lot of times, I didn't use the word soul, not because uh, uh, you know I did think that I had it stolen from me. And actually, for the last years or so, it does try to get stolen to a certain reason. My thinking is uh, my thinking process being slowed down and hurt by a bunch of people. And you know, a lot of people they have a soul. They get emotionally abused or some something like that, and people put them down. That's damaging your soul, your whole entire being, your uh, your thought process, uh, everything about you. You know, but uh, to be a soulless asshole, I mean, that's pretty in this, disturbing and disgusting. You know, and if somebody just uh, loves that and cheers it, I mean, then you know, it's not just you're not a human being. Uh, because there are other faiths and religions. Actually, I think Hinduism talks about that. That you know, uh, there there's other uh, uh, sentient beings like animals, and they believe they have a soul as well. I think so too. Not just human beings, you know. Uh, yeah, I get a lot of compassion, uh, uh, love, and understanding from uh, cats, to say the least, and dogs as well. Not so many humans, yeah. But uh, that's what a soul is, and you know, yeah, it's. This is the etymology of it, you know, uh, it's savoir, savoir, it reminds me of savoir, like the, the actual, uh, the actual bird, uh, you know, uh, an owl, but it just, it just, maybe it's just a similar word, and I'm not gonna get into that. The, uh, you know, Judaism and, and Christianity, you know, uh, believe that, you know, they were, ha uh, the humans are the only ones that have immortal souls. I, yeah, see, I don't believe in that. I just, I fail to believe in that. And I'm not going to be like, oh, prove it, prove it. We have to prove it. I don't have to prove anything. I, I, you know, I don't have to prove a, a damn thing. This is what I believe. You know, um, the origin of the soul, the damn soul. Yes, yeah, uh, a soul in distress, right? But where was that that I read? Um, I think it was here. Hmm. Hinduism, other religions, mostly notable Hinduism and Jain, Jainism, Jaini Dharma is an ancient Indian religion, traces uh, spiritual spiritual ideas and history through the succession 20th, uh, 24th, with the first of the current cycle being a, all right, it's a history of it, but they believe that all living from the smallest bacterium to the largest of mammals are the souls themselves. And have their physical representative of the body in the world. I believe that to a certain extent as well, you know. I mean, bacterium, yeah, I guess, you know, they serve its purpose too. Uh, that's taking it far. You know, I'm not going to get into that because, you know, there's our items that come from the earth. And they just, you know, they feel like, you know, I feel like, you know, they have their presence here. You know, a lot of do. Just, you know, there's, there's, there's just a lot of items that are probably not necessary. Maybe like a nuclear weapon or something like that will be not necessary on Earth. Maybe it can be for something else. I just I I haven't found a useful use for it yet, you know. But where am I going with this? Um, the soul thing. Uh, it always gets me to this subconscious existing in the mind, but not immediately available to consciousness. Well, that's a subconscious, right? Affecting thought, feeling, and behavior without entering or aware of subconscious subconscious motives. A con subconscious reflex uh, affecting thought, feeling, and behavior without entering awareness. Subconscious motives, a subconscious reflex. Yeah, I mean, 
you can have subconscious motives, right? Subconscious reflex. And you could, you could, uh, you, some people argue, well, we're programmed a certain way. And I'm not going to get into the whole program, this and that. I, not just, uh, the work, like etymology about that, but, uh, you know, being the program, but I'm, I'm going to talk about the subconscious, uh, 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 as a whole. And the fact that there's people that just, you know, they just say a bunch of things and, you know, I don't think they understand it like that to the fullest extent. They think it's cool or something like that. Uh, let's say, you know, you call yourself, uh, or you say, you tell people I'm artificially flavored. Well, you just, when I hear that, you know, you're telling me that you're fake, you're fraud. You're a fake person, you know. And it's like, what, you don't understand what artificial flavor means? Or you can put it together that, you know, you're telling on yourself that that's who you are. You're a fake person. When you tell me you're a soulless asshole, it's not just you're a neo-Nazi and a creep. And, you know, I always thought of you like you might have raped somebody or a molester. I kind of had a feeling. But the soulless asshole, you're just telling me you don't have a, a, a mind. Cats and dogs, a lot of them. They do have a mind, at least to, to my understanding, all of the ones I found. There are some mean ones out there, but they, they to me, it appears they have a soul. You just told me you don't. And, you know, the whole subconscious thing, you know. This is why, you know, not just I love psychology, but it's, it is a, in a, a shockingly disturbing in a way, but not, not in the way that I'm terrified from. I'm just very much aware, and a lot of times I am creeped out by it, but I'm also, I'm also, you know, fascinated by it. You know how the subconscious, like, uh, even myself, you know, we, we, we have all, have, we all have a subconscious to my understanding, you know? Uh, so, you know, I'm not putting that in the same category as the soul, but that's, that's your mind. That's part of your mind. Uh, when you dream, holy, oh, that's your subconscious being awake, you know, uh, all the things uh, you hide, uh, you hide or you're just not too aware of, it exists in your subconscious, but, you know, subconsciously, uh, uh, people reveal who they are, you know, a lot of them, you know, this is why I said that, you know, I started saying that, you know, well, you know, the reason criminals are criminals because they're dumb or something to that extent is like, you know, uh, all criminals are basically just dumb, you know, they're, uh, they're stupid, you know, at least to my understanding, and then I started thinking, you know, like, oh, well, you know, they just, <laughs> some criminals that just started, you know, and I'm not going to do some just criminals, but they just started, you know, talk, randomly talking their mouth, I started you know, thinking, you know, you could tell a lot uh, about body language, physical language, you know, facial mannerisms, uh, tone of a voice, right, let alone when they just, you know, tell you like they're fraudulent and, you know, they don't have a, a mind. They don't have a, a mental capacity to, you know, understand, uh, uh, what it's like, uh, positivity and uh, all the things that make life or something like that, you know? Uh, you know, I'll, I'll be honest, my cats, you know, I mean, they, you know, probably can't make a YouTube video or can't sign on to the internet and, you know, uh, you know, pick up a, a, a pipe and smoke a blunt or smoke some weed or herb, but you know, they understand positive positivity. They understand what it's like to be a conscious being and receive a, a positive affirmation. You know, uh, they like positive attention. They, uh, they give it, they give it back to me every day and they have for years. Yeah. That to me, uh, is a being that has a soul. It really is. And it doesn't have to be a human that, you know, uh, wears a robe and tells me about, you know, the afterlife. I should protect myself when it comes to reality. He won't recipro reciprocate any positivity. That's a soulless heathen right there. I don't care for that person, religious or not. I don't want to, I don't want to know you. I don't like you. I'm not into you. Uh, and a lot of them are fake. You know, they portray this image, but the truth always comes out, you know. And a lot of times I think is that either they want to slip up or they just don't know. They don't know where you're going to take it. And they don't know if when you see it, you know, the part, it's not a problem, but when you see it, you know, you just, you kind of expose it and you mess around with them, you know, except not messing around, but, uh, <laughs> I'm just, you know, it's, it's the whole subconscious thing, you know, who you really are will eventually come out. You can't hide. You never have. 
And yeah, people lie and manipulate all the time. I get it, you know. Uh, I don't always, you know, I mean, obviously I'm not going to tell everybody everything truth about myself. But people lie and deceive and, and manipulate people for either, you know, their own purpose or the purpose of, of a lot of other uh, uh, entities that, you know, uh, uh, operate the same way, you know. And a lot of times, those people that actually, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's all the time, those people that deceive and manipulate, they will deceive and manipulate each other as well. Me, someone like, and I think, and know there's a lot of other beings like me that I don't want to deceive or manipulate anybody. Yeah, I joke around, I might see what you are, but I don't want, I don't want to, you know, deceive and manipulate you or, you know, stare you down the wrong way or, you know, uh, have any, uh, inflict any pain on you. But someone like me, I don't go around uh, hurting people, you know, that are decent, even those evil people. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm angry towards a lot of people. Oh, because, you know, uh, you don't ha they don't have a soul. And their subconscious, uh, you know, uh, eventually comes out. And I could see right through them. I see who they are. They're soulless. They're fraudulent. You know, and, and a lot of times, you know, they don't even use, not even use the word soul. It's not about that. It just, um... It just it, it it's kind of fascinating, and it's it, it's actually a lot of times you know it, it it's sad in a way because there's a lot of individuals, not people, individuals out there who are like that, and you know it's when you see it, it just kind of it, it saddens you because you know you know uh, obviously you don't want to be in their circle, you want you want them to be in yours, you know, but uh, uh you know. The psychology of of, of of beings, of human beings, especially, it, it it's it is fascinating, especially. Uh, uh, well, let me see this. Uh, subconscious. The spelling of it always me gets, messes me up. Yeah, I admit, I struggle with the consciously. I struggle with the spelling of subconscious, <laughs> even conscious. <laughs> I have a conscience, that's why I said that. I don't think that's, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> existing in the mind, but not immediately available to consciousness. Right, so it exists uh, in your mind, in your being, in your, in, your, in, your, in your thoughts, but you're not aware of it, you know. The mental activity is just below the threshold of consciousness, right. So, you know, you're aware of stuff like, you know, right now I'm picking up uh, my uh, tobacco pipe, about to smoke, I have a water, I have a coffee. I'm conscious of that. But subconsciously, I mean, oh, someone just relayed a message to me. And I got to go there. Subconsciously, I'm going to be thinking about a whole lot of stuff. Or maybe, you know, uh, uh, the subconscious part is how I use language or something like that. Or words I'm going to use. Because like, every word I use, I'm not going to think, well, should I use this word, that word when I talk? I, it's it's not just that, but it's a lot of other stuff. You know? Like, uh, say, uh, uh, I, might, I might be, I might itch and I, the way I'm going to grab my leg or something like that. That's a physical uh, element to it. There's a lot of other things. I mean, there's just so many to that, you know. Um, there's people talk about, you know, in your dreams, you know. <coughs> One of my teachers always said that you, if you remember three dreams, you're, you know how to, uh, you know how to, uh, you know, you're, ah. Uh, she said the most we get is like three dreams. And. Her son used to remember three a uh, couple of times, and you know, there's a way to practice that you can remember. It happens to me where I remember two or three. I think two or three, and I have crazy, crazy dreams. There's other things that you could do to enhance your dream experience, except you know, I don't think I really want that. I'm not into that too much, you know. Uh, it's that's my subconscious, you know. Honestly, I understand that you know, uh, on a on a deeper level, you know. Uh, a lot of things, you know, obviously I don't want my subconscious to be fully awake, you know. It, it, someone posted that. I, I'm going to look it up. This is going to be, I want this to be a series, you know. Uh, madness. He said something about madness. And, you know, it, it, it felt to me like your subconscious being awake or being, I think he said it to that extent. Uh, it's, it's, an, it's an indirect quote. But I thought it was so true, you know. I was going through that a lot of times. Cognitive dissonance is, is one of those things. But cognitive dissonance, uh, you know, could be for a lot of other things, you know. So I'm going off on a tangent here, you know. I was going to make this uh, uh, morning coffee type of video, but 
I'm uploading a video right now. It's taking like two hours because it's for my phone. So I'm up uploading. I'm charging my phone. So I didn't do that. And I didn't want to be one of those days that just, you know, I have this idea and I just don't put this out there. I really wanted to, you know, uh, record this video. So it's out there. And this is why I'm doing this in this style. Not my favorite way to do it, but, uh, uh, you know, um, I'm conscious about it, and it's faster to upload uh, onto YouTube, way faster than for my phone, you know, but, um, yeah, I mean, this is, uh, you know, there's, there's beings out there, other creatures, not just human beings that are just, you know, uh, awake and conscious, and they, they feel pain, they, they suffer, they're hurt, but, you know, you show them kindness, and they'll reciprocate, they'll show you back, and, uh, you know, it, it doesn't, it's not because they're little furry creatures, you want to pet them, you want to throw a little toy and stuff, you want to run them around, no, it's a, it's an experience to connect to, to a being and have an understanding, and even though we, you know, like my, one of my cats does that kind of mean sometimes, you know, especially to others, and I correct her, and she acts mean to me, but you know what, she is that type of way, and, um, uh, she has a lot of good in her sometimes too, you know, uh, uh, and she knows what uh, what kindness feels like, and she's not evil and creepy about it. Like if I act kind to her, she will be mean to me, or she will treat me uh like a lower level being because I'm kind to her. That's very illogical and disturbing. There's there's I I notice that stuff exists, you know, uh, on a con <laughs> on a conscience level. I don't know what's going on in the world. Things are getting really worse over uh, in the world, right? Because there's a lot of stuff happening on my YouTube. Crime went up in, in you know New York. People are robbing each other. But you know, to be to let your subconscious fully awake, you know, it, it's disturbing. I've been there a couple times. I think I experienced that. But for to not be conscious of who you really are and play this uh, mental illusion, illusional game, and they call me all sorts of things which you clearly might be, and your little uh, organization, your group of friends, your little entities are on the same level, enjoy that, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not into that, yeah, I, that's a form of manipulation, and trying to like, uh, inflict uh, uh, your, your, uh, your lack of a, of, a, of a conscientious human being onto me, you know, that's, in a way, it's projection, that's what that is, yeah, go ahead. Use it all the time. Go ahead. Take up a new word. I say something, I'll, I'll tell you who you really are and say I'm projecting. Yeah. Ooh. I'm attacking you right now. Yeah. I'm murdering you. Right? I'm going to murder you. Yeah. Another cute uh, little phrase going around. But anyway, yeah, I am conscious of who I am, you know, as far as, you know, having like uh, dreams and nightmares, always crazy, uh, uh, you know, uh, lucid dreams even, I'm not into that stuff, you know, if it happens, it happens, it's all right, but I am honest uh, with who I am, at least I try to be, you know, and there's things that probably, you know, do come up from my subconscious that I do notice or not notice, I don't know, but I do try to prove my life and get better uh, than a week or a day I was before, you know, um, uh, that's just it's the personal thing. I just threw that in there, but yeah, um, I mean, it's uh, the conscience, uh, the mind of, of of an entity and how it works and how it is structured is a very uh, powerful mechanism. It's also very, you know, it's interesting, you know, but not to <laughs> I'm not gonna use that word, but not to be aware of the differences is you know, uh, I think everybody should be. Everybody should be, they should understand that, you know, but, um, yeah, uh, it, it's pretty, it's pretty odd when people, you know, let, let the, let, let me and the world know who they really are inside, yeah, it's, and I was conflicted, I was conflicted on it, it's like, you know, well, you, you just told on yourself, and it's alright, now, now, now I'm aware of it, 